everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and this is my finished virus shawl. I have just this minute finished it and I decided to do a single crochet border. So my last row I just did single crochets because I did not have enough cotton left to do a proper row I don't think and I think it's come out really well. I love the colour changing. I mean look at that. It starts from white, it goes to grey, to light blue, to dark blue and to darker blue. I mean it is just lovely. I took it to the park as you can see and I put it on this hedge and I really like the look of it. Um, it is quite big because obviously I just wanted to use up the whole world because there's nothing else you can do with the leftovers. So I thought I would use it all up and this is all I have left. So I think that is good going. Here we are, here it is on a bench in the sun and it is just glorious. I know it's big, but because I want it for a cooler summer evening it will be nice to sort of wrap yourself into it and I really really like the detail and the way it's turned into a really lacy shawl um, exactly as I had envisaged when I started it yeah I'm really really pleased with this um, you know it's a really nice present as well to give to be honest because yes the world is you know 20 pounds or something but if you turn that into a virus shawl I think you've made a really really nice present so here we are I thought it would be a good idea to hang it up in the tree and it shows it off to its best I think because you can see how lacy it is and how fine and how light it is as well. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. People were looking at me. Yes they are <laughs> They are starting to wonder what on earth is she doing there but I don't care. I just like taking my projects for their photo shoot. They deserve it don't they? <laughs> Oh dear, so yeah, so I hung it up on little things on the tree branches there and I just couldn't stop filming, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really, really liked looking at um, my fire shawl while it was hanging up like that. Uh, look at this, isn't it lovely? You can see through the holes. I really enjoyed doing this. I really enjoyed making it because it was a project for when I was traveling and it helped me you know during a flight and things like that so that's always helpful and I am really looking forward to wearing this. Um, last time we went on holiday I did not take a cotton shawl with me so this is what I will be taking with me to um, you know so wear um, on the colder or cooler evenings um, when you're on holiday I think it's just perfect so yeah let me know uh, in the comments below if you've made a fire shawl with which world you've made it and do go to my page Ophelia Talks and show me your pictures of your fire shawl with your world I would love to see it and I hope that um, it turns out as nicely as it did mine I have no idea how many eye holes deep it is, but I don't care. It's just, you know, glorious. So I used up the whole world and that's what I wanted to do. And I think it's a really nice shawl just to have even. My husband asked, so who is this for then? <laughs> I said, myself, I made it for me. Oh, I said, it's beautiful, <laughs> men. <laughs> Yeah, so I hung it up behind my sofa and so it's now in the background of my coffee and chat and crochet videos. So hopefully you will see it there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!